Hi there folks, James Strudinik here with another Bay 46, in fact the final Bay 46 to be filmed at Pertec Stadium as it currently stands. Behind me there's a bit of a media opportunity going on, you can see Wanderers Brendan Sandler and Mitch Nichols posing with the Hyundai Air League Championship Trophy, which they'll be hoping to get their hands on in a couple of weeks, but standing in their way is Brisbane War this Sunday in the big semi-final. Moments ago I caught up with the two boys to discuss what should have been an exciting game this Sunday against Brisbane. You have managed to earn yourself a start in the last couple of games, which you must be very happy about. Is that a testament to your hard work throughout the season and the seasons previous? Yeah, I just work hard each and every day on the training pitch and try to make the decision difficult for Popper. And um, you know, it's come to the point where I've, I've been lucky enough to score some goals and um, at the right time of the year. And my fitness is is great at this point. And um, it's a fantastic time to to be in the starting lineup and and uh, hopefully contribute to getting us through to a grand final. And this weekend against Brisbane will be the final game here at Pertec, as we all know. Um, surely it'll be a bittersweet time for all the players and all the supporters, regardless of the result. How good would it be to score the goal to take us further in the competition um, in front of the home crowd on the final game at Pertec? Yeah, well, that's obviously the aim um, to, to do that. But, um, I mean, this stadium's... For us, it's, uh, it's been special and uh, we have a lot of great memories here already um, in only a short uh, time, I think three, three to four years now. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look forward to coming back uh, once it's all, all redone and, um, and I'm sure our fans are going to love the stadium once it's finished and hopefully make some more great memories. Yeah, we've got plenty of great memories watching you play here as well. Just finally, on the subject of goal scoring, Mitch Nichols is here as well. We all know that you guys are on the same number of goals at the moment. Which one of you is going to break ahead this weekend? Oh, look, we're not too worried about who's going to finish top scorer. What, what the goal is here is to uh, make it to the grand final and you know, we, we need to do whatever it takes to, to achieve that. Obviously, you must have watched the game between Brisbane and victory, uh, with Brisbane managing to get over the line in the dying minutes. Um, how did their performance make you focus on the game that's come out this weekend? Um, I think they showed that the game's never over, and you know they've they've gone one nil down and, and scored two goals real quick. So, you know they're a great side. They've they've been there and done that over the years. So it's about us being being on our game and and taking it to them, and especially in front of our home fans, uh, you know, not make it easy for them, and and really just play our game and and step up and and take it to that grand final. Thomas Broich scored the, the winner for Raw uh, in the dying minutes. He's only scored two this season. That was his second. Um, and, but he's been a danger man all season. Is there anyone else who got your eye on in the Brisbane Raw squad? Yeah, um, Broich has been you know, dangerous for many years. And, um, you know, Jamie McLaren, obviously, he scored, he scored all the goals for them. So, you know, we've got to be aware of that. And I think in the last three games, he's, he's managed to bag one or two. So it's definitely going to be something our defence needs to watch. But they're a quality side. They've got experience all over the park. And a lot of players that have been to been to grand finals and won things so um it's definitely not an easy game and we have to be uh, at our maximum on a sunday speaking of sunday you've played a lot here at wonderland throughout the season and you've become a fan favorite because of your wonderful performances this season what's it like playing in front of the home crowd here yeah it's definitely good um you know when you used to come here as an opposition player it was exciting but also you know you could feel them get on top of you and for that to be behind you and and then being supporting you it's it's crazy and you know, I know it's going to be rocking here on Sunday and my mates have been pestering me for tickets. So, um, you know, hopefully it's sold out and everyone turns up and, and you know, it's the last game here. So we, we send that out on a good note and, and we move on to the grand final. And just before we go, we've already asked Santa this. You and Santa both on 10 goals, coming in with only a couple of games left, hopefully. Which one of you is going to break ahead and claim the Wanderers' golden boot? I really couldn't care as long as we, um, we win the, get through the grand final and win it. So... You know, hopefully Santa can uh, finish the job for on Sunday for us. That's it for another week of Bay 46. Don't forget, the Wanderers play Brisbane Raw this Sunday in the big semi-final of the A-League. Kick off at 5pm. It is here at Pertec Stadium. It's sure to be a sellout, but there are still tickets available, so please get them while you can. My name is James Trudinik. I'll see you next time.